Hey guys and what is up? My name is Annabelle, the Curvy Planner on Instagram, YouTube, all of social media, and today we are goal setting for 2023. It is crazy that 2022 is coming to an end, but I'm excited for 2023, that's for sure. I think I'm just excited for the fresh start, for things to just be brand new. At least it feels that way, like the new year is not like shouldn't be like the reason for goals to be starting it shouldn't be like you can start goals whenever you want but i am excited to set this up this is a moxie life um goal setting planner and this is one of the quarters this was actually gifted to me by my friend maya from science of planning and um i'm really excited for it because i will this will be my first time and i've always been very hesitant to buy it for myself because first off it's so expensive um and also I don't know if it'll work for me so I don't want to spend all of the money that it costs to get this system without knowing if it'll even work for me so um this is pretty exciting I'm really thankful for her for gifting me this um, a section of the goal setting companion notebook so I can try it out for myself and see how well it works. I've already gotten my name on it. This is a vinyl that was given to me by a friend and I put some washi to just cover up what was behind there. Um, if you haven't had a, mo a moxie life, it is just very geared towards like accomplishing your goals and kind of setting up those goals and like bigger goals and like breaking them down into smaller um, action steps that you can take weekly or monthly weekly um, to be able to reach those and then you have like a section for you to reflect on those goals and see how you did in that month to see if it, anything needs to be adjusted or even changed so I'm really excited we are going to set this up together so I'm going to graph my um, a regular planner from my shelf so I can make sure I make no mistakes because I am going to write this down with a regular pen. So let's see. Usually I would use a um, Frixion pen, but given that this is going to be a little bit more permanent, I want to just take it all the way and make sure that I'm writing it down with a pen. So this is just a ballpoint pen, nothing fancy. I will say January 2023 is literally perfect if you have a Sunday start monthly planner um, because it starts on one. So one, two. Okay, I'll probably skip this because it's just going to be me literally writing down the dates on it. <laughs> Okay, so there it is. I think it looks pretty cute. It's pretty simple, nothing really to it. I honestly don't even know what I would use the monthly section for other than like actually maybe setting up some sort of like, I don't know, like trackers on here maybe. Hmm, that's something that I'll have to think about, but we'll see what happens. Oh, I should probably write down January up here. So... Twenty twenty three, cute. I don't want to make this like a decorative planner, so I don't really care if it looks just very plain. <laughs> if I'm being honest, um, I did do a little bit of pre planning um, with sticky notes just to make it easier on us. Um, it ha it is divided out into different sections, so personal, fun and recreation, work and learning, family and relationships, health and wellness, spiritual, personal and personal growth, um, financial, and physical environment. So I did make some notes on here. As far as personal goes, I want to work on patience and doing more of what makes me happy and work on saying no, which I feel like is something that I've already started working on in 2022, but I want to continue that and bring it on to 2023 because if anything, I feel like I the guilt of saying no lingers along, lingers quite a while. Um, so I want to work on that and just... Just, I feel like that would be something that would be personal. All of these things I, I feel like are, I don't know. I, I kind of struggled putting this one together just because for me, a lot of this would be personal. I don't know. Um, and then as far as fun and recreation, I want to live in the moment and plan like a weekly fun activity of some sort. 
Um, and that can be like, I don't know, going on a walk or maybe I want to scrapbook or something like pick up a new like hobby or something simple. That's what I want to do. Um, oh, and then also reading. And um, I know you're going to think that's a little weird, but I've been playing my Switch lately. I feel like that would be something that I could add on to like fun activities. Um, and then uh, work, I want to write, I want to focus on meeting goals to bonus. Um, and then under that, I'm also adding my Kirby Planner stuff. So it would be to just like gain more subscribers, followers on Instagram and TikTok. Um, I don't really focus a lot on followers, but it is, I just want to work. So because of the, the way this system works, this is like my bigger goal. It's just growth. But then on the weekly actions, I want to like put down stuff like, um, commit to a YouTube schedule or, um, post regularly on Instagram and TikTok and stuff like that. So, um, that this would be like the end goal is growth. And then I would have like things that I can do, um, during the weeks to be able to, um, accomplish that okay and then as far as a family and relationships marriage um, more dates a family build relationships with parents and kids so that would be like my niece and nephew and um, for myself it would be building a family um, so I've already talked about that I'm going through some um, procedures and um, seeing a fertility specialist and all that stuff but I did struggle with like do I place this here or do I play, uh, place this under personal but I feel like it would be under family so I put building a family uh, we'll see how that goes but <laughs> whatever um, health and wellness physical um, so my routine physical OBGYN um, find a therapist because my last therapist was a disaster, um, weight loss and mental health. I feel like every year everybody says weight loss, but I just want to focus on like just doing, like choosing better. Um, I don't want to follow like a fad diet. I don't want to follow things that's just going to cause rapid weight loss and then not be sustainable in the long run. So I just want to maybe like find a happy medium that would then accomplish weight loss in some shape or form we'll see um spiritual and personal growth is find a church i from the beginning when i moved to san antonio from austin i said that i wanted to find a church here in san antonio and i did try for a little bit then covid happened and then i just stopped trying covid has been like i feel like things have been a little bit better for a while and i just like gave up on that and i want to like focus on that a little bit more this year um, Bible study and then self-care so self-care can be I don't know like taking a bubble bath um, crafting in my office or anything like that um, financial save slash no spend recreate for um, saving for recreational stuff save um, I know that's a small goal but 150 um, monthly um, that's like just a number that I threw out there I do have um I guess let me put this here. Save for um, my best friend is getting married in October of 2023, so I have to save up for that um, because I don't know how much the dress is going to be. And for her bachelorette, we are planning to go to Cabo, so I have to save for all that. Um, financial, uh, physical and environment is minimalizing every room, including garage and home to only things I need. I feel like that's very direct, but that's kind of what I want to do. I feel like just having my, my space clean and decluttered really helps me mentally. Um, so yeah, that's something that I want to focus on. So let me go ahead and write down all of these things on the paper. <music>
hope I spelled everything right, but I went ahead and wrote down my goals on here. Um, if I'm not doing this right, like, oh well. <laughs> it's it's my, they're my goals, my growth, and I, um, as far as personal, um, focus on what makes me happy, work on patience, and do more what makes me happy, say no without feeling guilty, um, for fun and recreation, live in the moment, plan weekly fun activities, um, walks, reading, crafting, gaming, uh, work and learning, work goals, growing the Curvy Planner, meet goals to meet monthly goals, grow subs, uh, some subscribers and followers on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok, um, family and relationships, marriage and family, plan more dates other than the movies because we go to the movies a lot, build relationships with parents and kids, start a family, health and wellness is medical and mental, schedule, routine, physical, OBGYN, therapist, weight loss, mental health, um, relationship with God is my focus under spiritual and personal growth, find a church, Bible study, and then I skipped a line um, just in case I was missing anything, and self-care. Financial is safe more, safe for wedding expenses, cobble trip, budget better. Um, physical environment is, min I just put minimalizing. I was going to put simplifying, but I'm going to put, I'm going to stick to minimalizing. I'm not going to be a minimalist, but, um, you know, my goal is to minimalize every room, including the garage, keep only things that I need or that are not replaceable. Meaning like, I know like sentimental for me, I don't hold a lot of sentimental value on things, but there are a few things that I have that were gifted to me that just mean a lot to me. So those things I am for sure keeping. Um, and then I wanted to add the weekly dates just to know. Um, so I didn't start it this week and this week is the 26th through the 1st. I feel like I should start it like second through the eighth. So I'm gonna put January second through the eighth. And because then that would mean I can start it next week and not this week. So this would be January 9th through the 15th. And then this is January 16 through the 22nd. And we have another one, which is January 23rd through the 29th. And then that is, oh, there's one more. But I don't have another one because I started a little later. So that is fine. I could actually, no, I'm going to leave this as is. I could probably, no, I could probably tape it or like glue it or something. But I think this is good for now. I think this is like some good goals to start with. Um, if you have any ideas what I could do on the monthly section, definitely let me know. Um, because I don't know what I could track on here, what, what I could add other than what I'm putting here. So I'll probably watch some videos for inspiration. And if you use the Moxie Life system, let me know because I would like to hear what you use it for. But I think this is good. And I'm going to um, also transfer some of this information over to my regular planner so I see it more often. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I know... Um, it's that time of the year where we're setting goals. So hopefully you're focusing on your goals. And if you're not, then that's fine. You can start whenever. Uh, but I think it's good to have goals for like self-growth. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to watch more of my videos, please subscribe. And I will talk to you all later. Bye.